Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I was gonna make a video today, but I really do not feel like it. I have been so, not lazy, but just like, you know when you're in the mood to just not talk to anyone and not do anything and literally just freaking sit because that's how I feel right now. I don't wanna do sh <laughs> I don't know. I just really don't feel like doing anything and I was looking at all my YouTube video ideas like oh my god What should I film today and none of them like spoke to me? None of them felt appealing and I was like, let me just vlog I feel like it's been a while since I've made a legit vlog and You guys can just see what I do during the day. I guess so I feel like this is a really unflattering angle I'm so over winter like it's ridiculous. It feels like February and January I know that wasn't in order, but whatever have been so freaking long. I feel trapped. I feel like I keep freaking respawning on the same day and it's just never gonna end. Like I literally feel like a sim. <laughs> So I'm trying really hard to like keep pushing like I know I've said to you guys like I'm gonna post videos every day as much as I can the past like week or two I have been struggling like I'm not even kidding I don't know what it is I just have not no motivation but just like no energy and I'm eating healthy I'm working out but like it's a lot like mentally I feel like I'm draining myself again so I'm not gonna force anything that's why I'm vlogging because I feel like that's the most natural thing to do because I did want to make a video like I got all ready today and I wanted to do something productive, but none of my videos just felt authentic. So here we are. I have like two or three weeks of school until spring break, which for me, my spring break is almost two weeks long because I have school twice a week. So the way it works out is like two weeks of nothing, which is so hot. I'm honestly just kind of in this weird phase. Like February is so weird, honestly, because I don't really know how to feel or how to like do anything. I don't know. I feel so trapped as of weather gets warmer and like people are less busy and things start getting more positive I feel like I'll be able to just have more energy and get in the flow of things better I'm drinking a smoothie I've been eating vegan since the beginning of the year now I've lost honestly like five pounds I'm kind of bloated right now, but like overall I have lost like five pounds because I've been tracking all my food and eating vegan. I've eaten literally something dairy maybe three times during this whole time. I just feel really good, so that's great. And I definitely feel like I look better for the most part and like my body is better and I have more energy there. But I don't know, like life just feels so eh. Like I need a change, but I feel trapped because it's like I have to go to school and I have to work hard because I have to graduate and I have to like save up money and I have to just like push through and I just feel like oh my god I want to be graduated. I want to start my life as a young single free adult like I'm so over this school sh I'm so just ready for the next chapter and I'm trying so hard to not be not grateful because you should be grateful and present but I literally just feel so like I want to move on and I can't like does anyone else just feel freaking trapped <laughs> because I feel trapped and I'm not trying to put bad vibes on you guys but I'm just being honest I just keep telling myself like be present be grateful and not focus on like having everything in order but having your mindset grounded during the challenge challenges of life but yeah I'm just like I'm so out of it to be honest <laughs> and I just want to go lay in the sun. I want to eat fruits. Like I want summer and spring. I need a different energy. I feel like winter has been so long. I feel like I'm all over the place, but honestly, that is how I feel. By the way, if you're wondering what this smoothie is, it's pineapple, strawberry, vegan protein powder, almond milk, maca powder, which is very good for like regulating hormones and stuff. And then pomegranate powder, which is a good antioxidant. So that's what I'm drinking. I need to do my nails. They have been this pink color since my short nail video. Did my voice just crack? They look bad. <laughs> I need to change my nails, but I've been too lazy. Like, I don't want to sit there and take them off. I don't want to do them, but I have to. I have to. So maybe I'll do like a pretty like bright color for once just so I can like spice up my life. And I'll show you guys me doing that. Today's Monday, by the way. I'm probably going to post this tomorrow and like edit this tonight and show you guys basically like what I do in a day. Yeah, I'm going to do my nails probably tonight. I have to do this quiz for my class 
class before five. I need to go to Ulta because I'm running out of everything. And so I'll probably go there and vlog like what I get. Maybe I'll vlog in the store if it's not like awkward. I don't know. <laughs> need to get gas for my drive tomorrow to school and just like little stuff. And obviously I'm probably gonna hit the gym because I've been going, but like not as much as I usually like to go. I'd say I've been going like maybe twice a week. I don't really like that. I try to go almost every day or at least like do a workout every day. Even yesterday, I did not feel like going to yoga. I don't know, man. Like I'm just, maybe this should be a glow up vlog. Not physically, but like a mental glow up. <laughs> I just feel like we need to recenter, honestly. What's keeping me strong through this is it's almost spring break and I'm gonna have two weeks to like really work hard on videos and like reset. The fact that it's coming is helping me to have like less pressure. Like, oh, it'll be spring break soon, it's fine. The fact that Animal Crossing is coming out next month, that is really getting me through life. Like, I'm not even kidding. I think about it every day. <laughs> and I'm definitely gonna try to make a video of like my first impressions on the game if I can somehow record it. I don't know how to do that, but I think it's possible. I guess what's getting me through this also is like every day I'm getting closer to graduating, but then there's pressure because I'm like, oh my God, I have less time to keep working towards my graduation goals because I really want to save up like a lot of money and like be ready to graduate mentally, physically, like everything. Because for the summer, I want to look good. I want to feel good. I want to be like ready to start <laughs> my life. This is so dramatic, but like I'm so, ready for that chapter and like onward I just feel so trapped like because mentally I am not a college kid I'm done with that you know I'm so ready to move on with that but physically I'm like kind of there because I'm still trying to save up money because I want to like have my career set to some extent figure out what I'm doing there because obviously I would like to do this full time, but I mean, I feel like I need to put in more effort for that to happen. So I'm like trying to learn honestly, like how to make this like a legit, this is my job kind of thing. Not just like I do it on the side. Being very transparent here. Like if you guys want to make a channel and like do what I'm doing, I would say I make definitely more than like if I had a regular like college part-time job going to school and going to work, definitely more than that. But it's not enough to where I can like go get a place yet and be completely completely financially a stable adult too. With saving up, I think it's possible, but I want it to feel very like secure, you know? I'm still figuring that out. So like by the time I graduate, I don't know how things are gonna be with the channel and like obviously the crystal business and whatever else I decide to do. So I might actually have to go look for a job or start something along those lines. I don't know, I'm thinking about even doing real estate and stuff and like investing and doing stuff like that. Cause I, really don't want a boss like I really do not want a boss I would rather like go get my real estate license and do that and create my own hours and that's something I would genuinely enjoy or even I don't know designing or just starting other business ventures like I don't want to just like go job hunting but I feel like if I was close where I'm like kind of making almost enough with YouTube maybe I would get a job as like a supplement but I don't know I don't know like do you see the pressure here. <laughs> do you see so that's why i'm like oh my god i just want to work hard on youtube like not saying i only view it as like oh my god i need money like i'm not being greedy with it like whatever comes in is what comes in and i'll make it work no matter what you know what i'm saying so i don't want to seem like oh i'm doing it for the money but i want this to be my life you know what i mean i don't want to have to waste my time doing other things when i'm already doing what i love you know what i mean another thing is like people they look at YouTube and stuff like this and everyone says it like it's so much harder than it seems and it's more work than what it seems and this is not discounting people that are like freaking doctors and things like that I know that they work very hard and are very skilled and obviously are more important than me telling you what's in my damn smoothie <laughs> but what I'm saying is like it is a lot more work than it seems and it is it's not something to look at and almost like scoff at like oh she wants to be a youtuber like wow 
now that I've done it and I see other people saying they want to do it or that they work hard like I get it you know what I mean it's a lot mentally people are very nasty online there's a lot of anxiety about it like what are people gonna say to me what are people gonna think about me like is this gonna get views that kind of thing and then just the work of it all like to make one video takes at least a whole day it's a lot it really is a lot I don't know where I'm getting at I'm just saying this to me is a legit job and I see See, like where people have been able to take it it's also not only a job like an end goal but like a platform like people use YouTube to do amazing things like look at Mr. Beast he has team trees and he helps all these people like I want to be able to use this to impact and influence people not just like by flexing on people and being like oh my god like an influencer because as I've said I am shy and I hate attention I honestly do this because I enjoy it I love being creative I've always been creative and that is why I want to do this. So that is my mission in life right now. Like this is my mental battle slash, I don't even want to say challenge, but just like, this is what I think about every day. <laughs> like I'm not even kidding every single day. So when people ask me, what are you doing when you graduate? What job are you going to get? Just anything like that. It honestly triggers me because I'm like, I'm figuring it out and I don't have the mental, I don't want to say capacity, but like, I don't even want to explain this to people because it's like, they also just don't fully get it. I don't think you fully Fully get it until you do it with that being said <laughs> if you're thinking about doing YouTube and stuff you have to love it and be committed and consistent and very like mentally strong because it is challenging and a lot of work I don't know what this has turned into but I'm gonna finish this smoothie and then I'll probably take you guys out I'm gonna go to Ulta probably the gym get some kind of food obviously talk to you guys and do my nails tonight things like that just basic stuff I just want to show you guys what I do in a day in my genuine thoughts and let you guys connect with me because I don't know like that's just what I feel like doing today I don't feel like sitting there and being like here's what's on my iPhone like I don't feel like doing that today but I will do that soon because <laughs> <laughs> I've actually been planning to do that for a while, but it has to be right. Like I don't want it to feel forced I'll be back. Okay guys. I look so good in this lighting. Are you joking? So I went to Ulta I'm gonna show you guys what I got I'm also about to go into Whole Foods and I'll try to vlog like clips of the at least like the cart <laughs> And then show you guys like what I got because I need some good food So I had a gift card because my mother got me one for Valentine's Day that helped a little bit But I definitely spent some money this this is the shampoo I use. This is Pureology. It's for like fine dry hair. Cause if you guys, like if any of you have like baby fine hair, but it's like dry and everything moisturizing makes it very flat. But then if you use volumizing, it's like still dry. This is amazing. It's freaking $30 though. <laughs> but I literally use the tiniest amount. You really don't need that much shampoo and it's like good quality. This is really good. It smells delicious. I got some new body wash because as I was saying in the beginning of this video I really am in a spring mood so I got this body wash by Soap and Glory. I used this last year and it was such a f***ing summer vibe I can't wait to use it again. This is their Kalina Colada so it kind of smells like a pina colada. It's like pineapple, coconut. It smells great. You should try it. and it lasts a really long time. It'll last you like the whole season so that's great. So I needed a good body lotion because I ran out of my 100% pure that I always freaking plug and I don't feel like ordering it so I just got one from here. I've never tried the body shop but I always smell their stuff when I go to Ulta but I got the mini one because the big one is like $30 and this was six. <laughs> so I'm gonna try this out and if it's good I'll buy like the big one but yeah I'm gonna try it out. It's gonna smell so good with the freaking body wash like guys I'm not even sorry someone came by so this is like like really awkward oh my god they're going right next to me okay they drive they drove past me i hate my life oh my god i don't care whatever what are they gonna do and call the cops no so yeah this is gonna smell gas with the body wash because we are having i'm gonna set this here we are having like a hygiene moment like guys you don't plan out like how your body wash smells with your body lotion and your perfumes and like everything think twice i'm telling you when everything is in sync you will smell like a freaking goddess so yeah and then you'll be in the spring mood or summer mood i don't know this is a terrible angle but there's like people by me let me open this guys 
This smells like when you're at the pool. You know like that sunscreen that people have and it smells like coconut? It kind of smells like that, but not as like sunscreen-y. It just smells like tropical. Oh my God, I want to eat it. I literally want to eat it. But fun fact, I hate coconut. I hate the taste of it. I hate everything coconut. Coconut milk, coconut flavored things. Like I cannot stand it. Even like coconut oil, the smell of it disgusts me. Like, I don't know. I just have never been a coconut girl, but I do love this. So that's great. I got a mini dry shampoo because I didn't want to buy the big one. <laughs> I don't use it that often, but I do need a new one. So by the way, I did get the brown one because the other ones are like white on your hair and obviously I have brown hair. So yeah, I got new razors because I'm out of razors and these are the best the ones with like the five blade and I have the one that's like it has like the ball on the handle it like swivels so you can get every crevice. <laughs> disgusting if you want to be silky smooth like that's what I use so yeah that's everything that together was like $85 I used my gift card and I had Ulta points, so I only spent like 50, but still, like, bruh. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna go in Whole Foods and then I'm gonna get gas and come home because I'm actually gonna do a home workout. I'm gonna show you guys what I do when I work out at home because I'm actually gonna do my arms today. So I'm gonna show you guys how I do that at home. It's a very easy routine and you guys will be able to do it and it's not that hard. I'm kind of a beginner with my arms because I have like kind of weak arms. So yeah, I'll show you guys that too, but I'm gonna go. I just left Whole Foods. This is so zoomed in, but it's fine. It was very busy and I was shy to be honest, but let me show you guys what I got. <laughs> the Whole Foods haul. Okay, so I got these chickpea puffs. They are bohemian barbecue. I've had the sriracha ones and they were gas, like straight gas. So I think these are gonna be really good. This is the best, vi there's someone right next to me. Okay guys, I moved. <laughs> I hate myself. Okay, so this is the best vegan sauce. I'm not even kidding. The best vegan vodka sauce an Italian will ever find. It's made in Brooklyn, I'm pretty sure. And they have been around for a very long time. This is so freaking gas. Their other sauces are kind of not that good, but this one doesn't even taste vegan. It's so like fresh and doesn't even taste like it's from a jar. Get this, you're welcome. I got buns, pretzel buns for my Beyond Burgers. This rose kombucha, and I'm not even kidding, they carded me because apparently if it has the black cap, it means that there's like enough alcohol in it to be like a legit alcoholic beverage. We'll try this one out. I got oat milk because it's my favorite milk. I use it only in my coffee. Everything else I use almond milk because it's less calories, but like when the milk really matters, this is the one I use. Then I got these seaweed snacks because I love seaweed. It's so good. My favorite was the sriracha one but I never see it anymore. But this is the regular sea salt. Now this I heard Paulina Baragova talk about, these like smart sweets. This is the peach flavor. Apparently they're like mad good and like not that many sugars. There's only three sugars in it for the whole bag. So I don't know, I thought I would try it out. But these are the peach ones. These are the best cheese. This is follow your heart American cheese for my burgers. They melt really well if you put like a cover on the pan. If you make it on the pan, it melts it very well. So yeah, these are really good cheese. So I've been craving watermelon like heavy. I'm not even kidding. I will get such strong watermelon cravings. It's like scary. So I got these. I swear it's like I'm freaking pregnant. Like I'm not even kidding. Watermelon has been like my favorite fruit lately. I literally have made my parents buy me so much <laughs> watermelon. I've gone to the store at night just to get it. It just freaking dripped on my pants, so that's great. It's so good with like pink sea salt if you've ever tried that. Then I got these two like fresh ground peanut butters. So this is the regular peanut butter. This is the almond one. They're both very good. I put it on toast and I put a little bit of fresh sea salt and a little bit of sugar like sprinkled on and it makes it really good. So that's what I got. There's like these two ladies across from me and it's so awkward. So just give it a sec. <laughs> <laughs> Just give it a sec. I got green grapes because uh, that has also been my strong fruit craving. Cold ass green grapes. I don't know what it is, like that is just amazing. We already have like vegetables and stuff at home, but I got this like broccoli slaw thing because that is the best. Like this with like a really good dressing, I could eat the entire bag. Like I'm not even joking. This is like my religion. <laughs> 
I love this like broccoli salad kind of thing. I don't know, like it is so good. I can literally eat the whole bag. My third fruit craving has been strawberries. I love strawberries. They are so like juicy right now. I don't know, like something about the strawberries really gets to me. I used to never eat strawberries ever. The seeds would creep me out. But lately that has been my sh I got a bag of avocados because of course. I got another tofu to add to my freaking stack of a million tofus. These are the best protein bars if you're vegan. They're macro bars and they have the right amount of macros for your body and they're really good. They don't make you bloated. They don't have like extra stuff. They're like raw. So try these out. They're kind of expensive to be honest. I feel like they're $4 each. Is that right? I don't know. I don't know, but they're kind of expensive, but they're really good. So yeah, that's like a good, I'm very busy, but need to eat something proper. Like this is the perfect thing because it's like filling and actually good for you. So I have these when I'm like at school and stuff. I got my favorite meat replacements, Beyond Sausage. This is the hot Italian, like myself. <laughs> why usually i get the regular but they only had hot italian but i really love this one too it is so gas and then lastly i got these beyond burgers they changed them they're kind of like a better formula now as you can see if you guys have had the original ones you know that they're like these red circles this actually looks more like meat like raw ground meat i'm excited i'm probably gonna make this tonight because i really want to try it and i need more protein today because all i've had today is like toast and a smoothie and matcha so yeah, but guys, can you tell I'm thriving? I didn't really buy that much, but that's gonna last me a long time. And I don't know, like I just love eating vegan. I feel freaking elated. Like even though I've had no energy lately because I haven't had the sun in like five months. <laughs> Overall, my energy's so high. I feel so clear. I just showed you guys like some very easy things you can buy. So yeah, the gas station's right there. Like I'm staring at it, but I don't wanna get gas. I might just go home and get it in the morning. And I'm gonna slap myself, but I just really don't feel like getting out of the car. Oh, should I do it? No, I really don't want to. No, okay. But before I go home, ooh, that kind of smells good. I'm gonna try one of these so we can see if they're approved or not. So this is the sweet snack thing, smart snack, whatever the hell. Wait, wait, these are so good. They're like a little bit sour. They low-key taste like a Sour Patch Kid and they're vegan in case you guys are wondering because I know some of these kind of things can have gelatin. This does not have gelatin. These are really good. I'm gonna be addicted. This is so good if you're like wanting candy. Wow, one just fell out. I did not expect that. Ew, the way I'm eating, ew. I didn't expect that. Like they look not as good as they taste. What the hell is that? That looks like it freaking was left on the ground and rained on. I'm gonna go home, make a Beyond Burger. I'm gonna show you guys like a shot of it so you can see how I make it. And then I'm gonna show you guys like my at-home workout. I'm probably gonna do like a 30 minute like walk slash run. And then I'm gonna do my arm routine. So I'll record that. Then I'm gonna do my nails and then I have some homework to do actually. And like I need to wash up and everything. So yeah, and then I'll edit this video and try to get it up Tuesday. Oh my God, I have a lot to do. Okay, I'm gonna go home now, bye. Hi Dolce! Today's our one year anniversary. I got Dolce last year, February 17th. One year with this annoying. Wow, Sinatra. Welcome to my fitness class. I actually do use my Apple Watch from my unboxing if you wanna go watch it. For my weights, I do other and I let it just track my heart rate. And then after this, I'm gonna go on the treadmill because I didn't wanna be too tired. So here's what I do. Do not judge me because I'm very weak. However, this is very good for beginners. So the first thing I'll do is a bicep curl. This is seven and a half pounds. <laughs> on each side it looks very easy but i do a lot of reps compared to like sets you know like i don't do like oh i do like lighter so i can do a lot and that's really good for leaning out for this i do four sets of 12. what i'll do is i'll go like one two three 
24 and keep going all the way to 24 because that's 12 on each side. Once I hit 24, I'll rest for a little and then do three more of that. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna play some music because it's weird in silence. Okay, so I've done that. I cut it off because I felt weird like staring at the camera. So you guys saw what I do. Getting pumped. <laughs> so now what I'm gonna do is three sets of a tricep extension. I do this with a 15 pound dumbbell and I take it with both hands. And I basically just go like this and press it up. My elbows crack because I'm double jointed <laughs> and they bend in ways that they should not bend. I'll show you guys like one full set of that. I do three of these because it burns 12 reps on each one. Now the next thing I do is the tricep kickback. So basically I'm gonna take the seven and a halfs again and I'm gonna go like this and kind of like bend my knees back like this. You can't really see it, but I'm kind of going like this and take your arms like this and you're gonna go back straight. I do that three sets, 12 reps, just like the other one. So now the next thing I'm gonna do is the upright row. So I'm taking these again, same weight, and I'm gonna just pull them up like this, like a row, and do 12 of those. Three sets. <laughs> now what I'm gonna do is call the rare delt fly. And basically what you do is kind of like crouch down again, like bend your knees. And you wanna take your dumbbells like this, put them in the middle like that as you're crouched down and go out. <laughs> this one's kind of hard for me by this point because it's like I've done so many arm workouts that it's like, <laughs> I will try to show you guys how I do it. Don't make fun of me. And I'm again gonna do three sets of 12. Okay guys. <laughs> So the last one is to lay on the ground. And for this one, I use 15 pound dumbbells on each side, but I lay down and press. <laughs> okay, I can't do this with one hand, but you get what I'm saying. I take the dumbbell and press up with both hands at the same time, like a dumbbell press on the ground. Okay, that's what I do. I'm not gonna show that <laughs> because it's impossible. That is what I do. Ew, my lips be looking dry though. All right, bye. I just finished my arm workout. My freaking arms feel like noodles. I'm not even kidding. I was gonna go on the treadmill, but honestly, I don't feel like it. <laughs> I really don't because it's getting late and I still have to do like a whole like assignment project thing and edit this video and do my nails if I have time. I'm gonna go have like some kind of snack because it's good to eat after you work out. Something with like protein or some fruit, something like that. And then I'm gonna come back, edit this vlog. If I get time to do my nails, then I will insert like a clip or picture at the end so you guys can admire but this is a very long vlog which is cool like I actually really like the long vlog because all my videos are like 10 minutes this is really cool to like let you guys just hang out with me and like genuinely see what I do so yeah this is what I mean when I say I'm busy I'm always just like doing stuff you know what I mean even if it's not that important I'm just always busy in the beginning of this video I was very kind of burnt out and just not feeling like doing anything but now I feel pretty good as you guys can see like I've had a good day I want you guys to take inspiration by that like I started the video kind of all over the place and feeling not energetic and kind of stressed and I went did my day I enjoyed everything that I did and now I have like a positive momentum going I feel like tomorrow's gonna be a good day because today was very productive I hope you guys like get inspired by this and had a good time watching me so I'm gonna end the video here honestly because it's getting pretty freaking long but yeah but thank you guys for watching let me know what you want to see next time and i'll see you then bye guys mm -hmm.